Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. First, I miss you guys so, so much. And I just want to thank you for all of the love and the congratulations on the birth of our baby girl, Josie. It's truly appreciated. Please bear with me as we get adjusted to the new normal. Also, I will give you more on my birth story later. But for today's video, I wanted to show you my last nesting video in preparation for her birth. I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, so we're getting the car cleaned inside and out for baby girl because we're going to install the car seat soon. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, so I am at the fire station currently. So I heard that you can take your car seat to the fire station and then they will install it correctly um, for free for you. However, I called up to the fire station and they act, the person that answered the phone act like that wasn't what they typically do, um, that it's a CHP thing. So I call CHP, they do actually do it, but they only do it on Wednesdays and they wouldn't be able to do it this upcoming Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, and I delivered before then. So that wasn't gonna work. So I asked the fire station if I couldn't get anybody to do it at the CHP, would they do it? Cause they act like, oh, well, we typically don't do it, but if you did need to bring it and we're not busy, we could do it. So this is my, I don't wanna say my last resort, we could do it ourselves, but I'm just one of those people that wanna make sure that it's, properly installed and done right and all of those things and you know i don't want to be bickering about it because me and babe we probably be arguing about it like i'll be like you didn't get it straight you didn't this so i could be a little naggy when it comes to stuff like that because i just want to make sure that it's done right so to just alleviate all of those issues i'm going to try to do it at the fire station and if not me and babe just going to have to do it so let's see i don't know if they'll feel comfortable with me recording if they do do it so if not i'll just come back and let you know what happened but i did get the duna um car seat slash stroller um if you're not familiar with it it basically transforms into um from a car seat to a stroller like instantly so you don't have to you know lag around the car seat like you typically do so i mean it's a little on the pricier side but i do feel like it's worth it and i saw the reviews and it seems like most people view it as a lifesaver so yeah, let's go see what these fire department people are saying. Yeah. Okay. So this 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 will loosen the, the base, right? Okay. And then I just you pull this clip, make it as tight as you can. Okay. And what about this dial thing? Is that something to make it? So what this does is it brings the the base up and down. It's an angle. Oh, okay. Right. So angle relays into flat right there on the right hand side. Oh, okay. So it'll angle the like go this. up or down like that. Yeah. Green indicator right there. Uh huh. The two reds. Oh, it needs to be in the middle. It needs to be in the middle. Yeah. Okay. 
So is that middle? This is the middle right okay. here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I have my son, he'd probably be the only one that'd be back here. Yeah. So it probably should work. On either side. Okay. That's not the, the car seat for this, is it? Is yeah, it's the same, man. Yes, yeah, a car seat stroller. Oh, car seat stroller. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's all connected. It's all in one. Oh, <laughs> oh, let me see. We'll bring the books okay. around. Oh, it's good for my height. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With anything, just bend over the whole time. Right, yeah. It's kind of tiny though, huh? This Hope time, the baby this can. Is, this is a, a starter one, right? And then uh, you'll have to buy oh. these little inserts. Uh huh. I think there, there's one for an infant, right? Uh -huh. So you have to go online and uh, go on YouTube. Okay. Just kind of research this. And, uh, And then it's green back here okay nice y'all oh my goodness they were so nice they were so nice and helped me out a lot but come to find out bay had already installed it correctly he just didn't um you know tighten the seat belt part but when i came in they had already had the car seat in here but i thought that it was just sitting in there but it was actually um connected with the latches and everything he had already did it so they said oh well it's already installed pretty much they was like he has it centered he just needed to you know tighten the seat belt so that's pretty much what they did and they kind of just showed me how to lift it up and down and um they said that i could take it to chp to get an actual certification to make sure that it's you know to say okay it's certified installed correctly if i wanted to do that but other than that it's all good so yeah they were really pleasant really nice and super helpful so yes you guys we got our car seat installed for baby girl <laughs> okay you guys so in the previous nesting video i pretty much went through washing all of her clothes her blankets her bibs uh, swaddles all of that and now i'm just pretty much folding everything up um, getting it prepared to you know put it in the dresser and stuff like that i was like i don't know the best way or the most efficient way to fold these things so i did go um on tiktok to find like some ways to like roll up her blankets and swaddles and just some ways to fold these little itty bitty tiny baby clothes because girl I haven't folded any baby clothes and god knows when uh was 16 17 years ago <laughs> and I'm like what is the best and most efficient way to do this so I'm still learning and trying to figure out which way I like things this way was, you know, how to do a swaddle blanket. Um, I also looked at a couple videos on, you know, what to do with onesies. And they're pretty much just kind of like rolling them up and tucking them into each other and then storing them that way. Which um, later on when I put everything like in the dresser, I did like how it ended up looking. It's nice and neat. And I just put like the smaller onesies, you know, or the uh, sleeveless ones together and then um, you know, our sleep, the sleepers and stuff, um, in another section as well. But yeah, this was, um, what I was able to find that I felt was easy and would work for me. It wasn't too difficult. And, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys just in case you're expecting mothers and trying to figure out how to, you know, roll these clothes up or figure it out. Cause they're so teeny and tiny. They're so, so cute for a little honey, for a little baby. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you guys just folding everything up here.
Okay, you guys, so here I have some like semi blackout curtains being installed by my handyman. Um, the room that we're staying in currently, this isn't my like master bedroom. This is my downstairs guest bedroom. Um, I've been standing here just because I didn't want to go up and down the stairs pregnant and all of those things. So we haven't went back upstairs just yet, but um, the amount of light that comes in here is ridiculous and there's no way that a baby can sleep in here um with how bright it is so basically i'm getting these um amazon drapes installed i love 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 them i'll talk a little bit more about them later and i'll also link them down below for you guys <laughs> Special thank you to today's sponsor, Factor. If y'all know, y'all know I stay by Factor's side. If this is your first time hearing about them, Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your door. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. In busy days like this, Factor is so convenient for me. I don't have to worry about what I'm going to cook or look up recipes on Instagram and TikTok and all of that stuff. It's already done for me and I know that it's made well and it tastes good. Ease into this fall without missing a step. Choose from 34 plus weeks weekly delicious meals that are ready to eat in just two minutes with no prep and no mess. And if you're super, super busy, they even have lunch to go options, which are easy and effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave required. So when I say it's convenient, it's convenient. I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Factor. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code for show 50 to get 50% off your first box. Again, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code for show 50 to get 50% off your first box. Okay, so now it's time to put all of her clothes up. I'm using the dresser that I was using in my office instead of using it for like supplies for that. Um, I've turned the office kind of into her nursery. Um, again, the nursery won't be completed until a little bit later. I'm just kind of doing the bedside setup, but I'm still storing most of her clothes in the actual nursery because I just don't have the room to put all of her clothes downstairs. So here I'm using some dividers that I got off of Amazon, which are a godsend. I love, love, love these dividers. They fit perfectly in this dresser and they adjust it really, really well. Um, if I need them to be a little more narrow so everything was, you know, tighter and fit together, then it worked for that. Or if you need it wider, you can do that as well. So I love that they're fully adjustable. I, I definitely need to get some more of these because this just wasn't enough. I love, love, love them. Um, so yeah, here I'm just putting her um, all of her white onesies together and now I'm going to do I think a row of her colored onesies and even if your stuff is not folded super neatly I think these dividers help things appear more neat um, just in itself. Her little socks um and i just have it in this like divider box um i have a couple of those as well and they fit perfectly in a drawer here are her hats as well as some bows and stuff i did see like a bow organizer on amazon but i think that this works for me um for right now and if i want to get it later i will all her little small stuff is in these little organizing bins and it's working out great so i'm going to put some music on and let you see me get the rest of this together mm 
This is what I have together so far. I put the white onesies. She has a whole bunch of white onesies in its own little lane. <laughs> um, colors here. I got a few sleepers here as well. Mostly just all of the onesies that I washed I put in this drawer. I'll do like the little outfits and stuff later. Here are all like her bows and little hats and stuff like that. And then we have the socks all the way in the back. But y'all, I like how it's looking so far. And then at the top, I probably, I don't know if I should have put this on the second row or the first one. But here are a few swaddles. Some swaddles back here. Um, bassinet bed sheets. Um, and then mostly towels and bibs and stuff. So this is all of the washcloths. Some burp cloths bibs underneath here a blanket and then i have like more blankets and stuff downstairs for um like her bedside setup yeah let's go ahead and get that together and then i'm done for the day you guys i am so pooped i i can't do one more thing okay <laughs> only other thing i might do is that i did get a comforter um i wanted to change it up we've been having a white comforter forever so I got this like sage green comforter so i'm thinking i'm gonna put that in the wash and that's pretty much it that in the wash finish up the bedside cart and then maybe tomorrow get started on like her bottles and stuff like that but yes you guys i'm feeling really good about what i got together so far yes you guys baby oh my god i almost said her name <laughs> baby J is on her way okay y'all so here is the comforter that I was telling you about I got it from Amazon it had a lot of good reviews it's kind of like a bed in a bag type of situation but it doesn't come with a sheet set so it comes with a comforter and I believe two shams and then I already have my own sheet set so we shall see how we end up liking it we've kind of been sleeping on top of our covers recently just because it's been so hot um we really don't even need any covers but like i said i just want to kind of change up the color in the room just to see how i like it so i'm going to go ahead and get this ready for the wash okay guys so now it is finally time to get this bedside cart together i have been debating on how i want to do this i'm not exactly sure so i'm just gonna wing it right now and just get the gist of it completed and then tweak it as needed because i'm not sure if i'm going to need certain things on the top tier or the middle tier or whatever until i actually start using it and come up with a system so yeah so i did decide to go ahead and um go with the caddy on top instead of um doing the little compartments i just feel like 
I can put a whole bunch of stuff here and then have more room at the bottom if I need it later. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. What can I do? It's so loving and gentle to the core. What can I do when you fill me with happiness and much more? What can I do? It's so stunning. I just can't look away. What can I do? I should know by now you make my day. Never more will dreams expire. Keep it burning. Keep it burning, baby, got this fire on my head And don't dare to let go Cause each day, cause each day for you, my love will grow Okay, you guys, so yesterday I ended up losing light And the same thing is starting to happen today So I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and hurry up and do this video and give a quick overview of everything in my cart like I said everything is pretty minimal right now until I figure out my whole system but I feel like I have most of the items that I would need um, if you guys have any suggestions I'm more than happy to hear it let me know in the comments but yeah okay so on to the first tier again I'm using my diaper caddy so here I have just some newborn diapers um, I also put in some wipes and these are the Huggies Pure I believe if I'm not mistaken I don't know if my friend suggested this to me but she might have so yeah I got the Huggies Pure um, and then I have some diaper rash cream this is the butt paste max strength and then I had this whole little section that was just um, not being used which I'm kind of happy about I do have an extra section just in case I think of something else later but for right now I just put um, some pacifiers in there um, <clears throat> I got these mom ones I heard that these are really good, but I don't know which ones she'll end up liking. So I didn't want to just get a whole bunch of a certain kind and then she doesn't even like them. So I got the mom ones. I also got these silicone ones. I think I got these more for me than for her. I thought they were so cute in a cute little pink and mauve type of color. And then I also have these as well. And I got these really cute pacifier clips, you know, so she won't lose her pacifier. So, yeah, I thought these together was really cute. Um, I'm probably going to pack this in her hospital bag, these pacifiers, so hopefully she does take them. I'll probably pack that with one of her clips and call it a day. On the side of the cart, I have just some lotion here and then this nightlight. I'm not sure what brand this is but I pretty much got everything off of Amazon um, but it's a nice little touch light so um, when I wake up for feedings and stuff like that I don't have to turn the whole lamp on and just you know mess up and disturb the whole going back to sleep mode and you know waking babe up if he doesn't need to be woken up and all of that stuff so cute little night lamp or I don't know what I'm doing okay <laughs> okay and then behind here I have um, just a changing pad this one actually came with a diaper bag that my aunt gave me and someone else also gave me like a separate um, a changing pad I was like okay I'm gonna take the one that's in the diaper bag and then use it for my cart and it's thin enough to just reach for and put in the back of the first tray um I got anything else okay and then i also got this nose frida for all her little boogies and all that stuff and yeah i still have like i said a bunch of room i probably could put these pacifiers somewhere else so yeah depending on what i'll need i, I got that and then i also have these like little compartments to put stuff as needed so on the second tier is everything for breastfeeding my hospital actually 
I believe provides a free power pump through my insurance so I'll figure all that out once I deliver um, but in the meantime I do have the portable pumps that you put in your bra I got it off of my registry best friend got it for me um, so it is the I don't know how to pronounce this is it trust you <laughs> stretchy street street straight there Tra girl listen so here are the portable pumps none of this has been sanitized yet I'm gonna do that tonight I'm gonna sanitize the bottles and all the little parts so yeah I'm a little frustrated right now you guys because let me just tell you really quick do not ever ever in your life get handy cleaning service ever okay they stood me up two times the first time um, was for my baby shower and the the thing is I made the same mistake twice and um, yeah so I had scheduled them to come out the day before my baby shower to have my house clean because you know people coming in using the bathroom all this stuff you know I just wanted it to look really nice and presentable no call no show you're supposed to be able to track your um, you know person to your pro or whatever to make sure that they're on their way they turned off their GPS didn't come it was just a big old mess and then last minute when I was supposed to be doing other things I had to pretty much clean me Bay and Trenton had to clean and do all this stuff when we thought that that was going to be something taken care of okay so now same thing I actually deliver tomorrow okay um, I actually deliver tomorrow and I did the same thing I scheduled them to come the day before I'm like so everything will be fresh and we don't have to you know overexert ourselves and do too much and I can handle other things girl the man was supposed to come no I did it two days before this time he ended up saying oh I'm gonna be really late I'm still working on another house I won't be there until 7 in the evening I mean you know I could come late like that or I could come anytime you want tomorrow because I don't have anything scheduled tomorrow so I said okay come tomorrow I said but just promise me you're gonna come he's like no no don't worry you won't be disappointed thank you for letting me reschedule blah 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 girl tomorrow come which is today no call didn't come so y'all now just stuff that I was not anticipating having to do tonight will have to be done so it's just a big old headache and it's just frustrating me so much but anyway um, I digress so tonight after we clean the kitchen and all that um, I'm gonna set up like the little sanitation station still have to wash the bottles so I'm going to sanitize this the pumps as well um, I was looking at it looks it had a lot of good reviews on Amazon so I'm hoping that it works out well for me um, I also got the Hakka and for anybody that doesn't know because I didn't know anything about the Hakka but apparently because I pumped with Trenton um, but remember Trenton was in the NICU and you know all of that stuff and I never breastfed him by the time he was out of the hospital like four months later I was so exhausted from pumping that you know it's just like whatever I had on reserve in the freezer I just gave him and then he was formula fed from that point on so he never was actually breastfed but apparently when you breastfeed um, the other breasts will leak and it'll leak you know a good amount of milk so this catches everything and you can store that as well in the freezer you know and that could just be your little extra supply so I heard a lot of good things so I picked this up also on Amazon I got a couple bottles here um, the Tommy Tippy ones that was on the registry that one of you got for me and then here I have my breast storage bags as well let me turn it on and then I have my mom cozy sound machine and then here I have some um, nipple cream and bibs and burp cloths in here as well so everything breastfeeding on the second tier and then on the very last tier I kept it pretty simple um everything that was like clothing 
blanket swaddle related um, I put on the last tier. So I have a swaddle there. Um, let me just pick it all up. Okay, so I have a couple swaddles. I have a thick blanket. I have, um, what is this called? Like a wearable blanket. Um, some socks. I got some sleep, some zipper sleepies. Some zipper sleepies. Some um, zipper sleepers. I also got some onesies in there. Socks. I need to, oh, some mittens. And I need to add a couple hats in there as well. So, just some, some little essentials for baby here. Just some little clothes and stuff. Okay, she blow it out. Knack up with her mom. And then this was empty on the left hand side here. But I ended up adding the diaper pail trash bags there. Um, because that'll be on the side of the cart as well. On the side of the bed. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it there. I might replace that with like water and snacks and little stuff like that. Um, and put the bag somewhere else. So we shall see. Let me see if I have anything else here. Yeah, that's all I really have um, for the bottom. And yeah, you guys. This is my bedside cart. And y'all, baby girl is about to be here like in one second. So, yes, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. And, yet yeah, again, if you guys have any suggestions for anything to add to the cart for now, then definitely let me know. Also, this is my little cart area. I'm going to have the, what is it called? Um, I'm going to have the bassinet here next to the bed. I got the cart here. I have, like, a little couch over here, which I don't know if I'm going to have it there or not. But I have my cart on the side of the bed here. And then my diaper pail is behind it. I don't know how functional that's going to be. <clears throat> so, I don't know. We'll see. I'm just putting some stuff together and then trying to see how it ends up working out for me. Y'all, I forgot to show you really quick. This is what the drapes turned out looking like. And also the bedspread. I was mistaken. I thought it was sage. But it's more of like an olive color, which I really, really like. Um, yeah, I just wanted to change it up because I've been having white covers forever and I just want to have some kind of color. But yeah, I love the drapes. They are excellent quality. A lot of them would have good reviews on Amazon. And then when I would look at it, it would look like so cheap and so thin. They're, they're supposed to be blackout, but they're not 100% blackout. I would say they're about 80%, but they do what needs to be done for what I need it for. It was dark in here when the light typically is like busting us upside the head. So they worked for what I needed it for. Um, I think they brought some height to the room because he brought it up pretty high. And yeah, I'm really digging it. I really like it. I like the uh, covers as well. So yes, you guys, I just want to show you that really quick. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.